Apart from the prevalence, there's also another variable that affects the positive predictive value in a major way. And that variable is called specificity. Here's an example. Let's take our population of 1,000 individuals again. And this time, let's say the prevalence is 20%. So 200 have the disease and 800 don't. Let's say the test sensitivity is 70% and the specificity is also 70%. So out of the 200 diseased, 70% or 140 will be picked up by the test, whereas 60 will be missed. Similarly, 70% or 560 of non-diseased will be picked up, whereas 240 will be falsely classified as diseased. Overall, we have 380 folks who tested positive, 140 true positives and 240 false positives. Now, let's calculate the positive predictive value. That's 140 true positives divided by 380 who tested positive times 100 equals 37%. So pretty bad. Now let's see what happens to the positive predictive value if we change sensitivity to let's say 90%. So now out of the 200 diseased, we're going to pick up 180 people and we'll miss 20. Nothing changes on the right side since specificity stays the same at 70%. So overall, we end up with 420 people who test positive. What's the positive predictive value? Maybe you want to give it a try and calculate it yourself. Pause the video and come back when you're done. So the PPV is calculated as 180 divided by 420 times 100, which equals 43%. So not a big improvement from our initial 37%, right? Now let's see what happens if we take our initial numbers and change the specificity from 70 to 90%. So in this case, the left side stays the same since sensitivity is left unchanged at our initial 70%. Now we're correctly diagnosing 90% of non-diseased or 720 people and we're going to get 80 false positives. So overall, there are 220 people who test positive. The positive predictive value is thus 140 divided by 220 times 100, which equals 64%. So much better than our initial 37%, right? And why does specificity have so much more influence on the positive predictive value than sensitivity? Well, because there are many more people in the non-diseased group. Therefore, a 1% change on the right side of the vertical line or the specificity has a much bigger impact than a 1% change on the left side or the sensitivity. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.